Okay, y'all. I thought I'd go ahead and since I'm up. <laughs> it's 3.15 now. I would do a coffee review. Me and Ernie, we drink quite a bit of coffee. Uh, we have a regular drip coffee pot uh, that says it holds 10 cups of coffee. And regardless of the kind of coffee we use, that's what we measure with right there. And we put six of them into the coffee filter. So that right there, and that's, um, I don't know, that's a regular coffee measure from Mr. Coffee. And we use six of these per pot in a regular drip coffee pot. And, the, of course, the carafe says it's 12 cups. But I wanted to tell you some good coffees and some bad coffees. Now, one coffee I don't have here that we drink quite often that we really enjoy is the 8 o'clock coffee. We like to grind that 8 o'clock coffee um, there at the store. We really, really like 8 o'clock coffee. Now, another one we like is this U-Band. Now, right now I'm using the U-Band container to hold my sugar in the pantry there. Uh, we buy our sugar in bulk. And uh, this one we can keep in the cabinet for uh, coffee or, or cooking or whatever. And we don't have to get out the big, big uh, barrel of it in the pantry. Um, but U-Band coffee is very good. We love U-Band coffee. Lots of times U-Band coffee will be on sale at our Walmart uh, for $6. And uh, then they add a... Uh, we did this once before. There was It was $6 for the U-Band. And then it had a dollar coupon. Well, we bought 10. Because we drink coffee. We drink at least, at least two pots a day summer winter in the winter time we, we sometimes drink more um, but we drink at least two pots or we make two pots we probably drink one and a half um, but Uban is a very good rich great tasting coffee uh, now the Maxwell House daily brew it's okay it's uh, um, if we have something else then we'll buy something else uh you know if the store's got something else on sale we'll buy it over the daily brew now one disappointing coffee here is this canes years ago canes used to be so good i have no idea what they did to it but now uh we won't buy it again uh we bought it this last time because couldn't remember what it tasted like. We just did not enjoy this Cane's coffee at all. Terrible. We won't buy it again. We'll remember. Now the Maxwell House. We bought this. Uh, lots of times we'll buy this when it's on sale. Um, we've got the Daily Brew here which is okay, but uh, whatever's on sale is usually what we buy. Maxwell House is pretty good. Uh, it's, uh, if you want to do a 1 out of 10, that Cane's Coffee is probably a 3. If you want to do a 1 out of 10 on the Daily Brew, uh, that's probably <laughs> about a 7. Uh, you want to do a 1 out of 10 on U-Band, it's a 10. But now here's something we found at um, Sam's Club. Uh, it's a Guatemalan coffee. Now this cost us, it's 100% a, a Arabica beans. Um, we found this at Sam's Club and it was $11 for this bag and we ground it there at Sam's. Uh, it's two pounds. Uh, boy, let me tell you. Uh, this U-Man and this right here are, well, in the 8 o'clock, three best coffees out there. This stuff is absolutely, oh, so good tasting, you just won't believe it. It's Guatemala 
whole bean and we we grind it there at the store and it's Pablo's Pride Gourmet Coffee for eleven dollars and something it's good it's real good we really like that and, and we bought two this last time we went to uh, Sam's because we didn't want to run out of it of course we can always get this U-Band and this U-Band always runs about six dollars uh, then when we get to the Hills Brothers well on Hills Brothers it's probably about a seven also just like that Maxwell house uh, if one out of ten seven it's okay we'll buy it when it's on sale it comes in a really big can uh, so we don't have to buy it so often, but uh, that's something we try to never run out of this coffee. Uh, now, Folgers, you'll notice, Folgers is not here. We only buy Folgers when it's on sale. One out of ten on Folgers, uh, it's probably going to be a six plus or a seven minus. Uh, well, no, maybe a seven with this Maxwell house and everything. Folgers is just too expensive. The only time we buy Folgers is when it's on sale. And uh, it doesn't taste that good to go out of our way and buy it. So, our product review on these coffees we've got here. First off, I don't have the 8 o'clock coffee here. I wish I did. 8 o'clock coffee. Pablo's Pride Guatemalan coffee. And Uban, the best tasting coffee for those of us who love to drink coffee. Canes, uh uh, sorry. Uh, Maxwell House Daily Brew, Maxwell House Regular, and Hills Brothers. Um, one out of ten, they, they all three get a, a seven. That Canes down there probably a. Too, that's that's not much good for nothing. Uh, I was really disappointed in it because if I remember correctly, canes from years ago used to taste pretty good. Uh, now this, uh, one more time, we use six of these, just like you see it right here in our regular coffee pot. We have a regular drip coffee pot. It uh, We fill the water up to 12 cups. And we use six of these in a regular filter. Just every day, hundred for a dollar filter at Walmart. Um, and we enjoy our coffee. So if you can find this Guatemalan uh, Pablo's Pride gourmet coffee in the whole bean where you can uh, grind it there at the store, oh, try it. It is absolutely delicious. If you can find U-Ban, uh, try it. But let me tell you, once you try it, you're not going to like anything else because it, it, it spoiled us. We buy U-Ban all the time. Uh, these other coffees, the only reason we bought them is because they happen to be on sale. The Walmart coffee, uh, if I had to give it a 1 to 10, I would say a 6 because I prefer to have the Maxwell House or the Hills Brothers over the Walmart brand. But I would still give it a six. And when you drink as much coffee as we do, sometimes you're not picky on the brand. <laughs> but, wrapping it up, do try the U-Ban. Delicious. Do try Pablo's Pride. Guatemalan coffee. Delicious. Do try 8 o'clock. Hopefully you can grind it yourself there in the store. So that's my little mini coffee review. Uh, considering I have uh, insomnia, <laughs> you guys might be wondering why am I drinking so much coffee. Well, let me tell you. I have drank decaf coffee. I have given up all caffeine, sodas, the whole shebang. It does not affect my insomnia at all. So I figured I might as well enjoy my coffee. And I do. Great stuff here. So, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got a little bit of information. Um, 
Maybe it depends on where it's made, on how good it tastes. Because that Cane's, I don't ever remember it tasting that bad. But that's our new favorite right there. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.